Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me and my dashboard planner for the last week of July. And I just got the sticker book in, Layering Basics Volume 2 by Amber Plans Her Day. And when I saw this set of florals, I knew I wanted to make a spread using this entire sheet. I'm going to do a rainbow spread, obviously, but I kind of want to bring the flowers up and across the side. I think that would be very pretty. Now, normally I'd like to use wax paper, but I'm going to try to do this without, and I think these flowers are going to be the only color that I have in here, and then I'll just use black boxes for the rest of the spread. I think it was, it's going to turn out pretty. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that was my thought for that, so I'm going to pull out Mojo Jojo Plans black boxes and maybe Amber Plans Her Day's black quotes to add in some quotes here, and... We should be good with that. Okay, so I should probably think about washi tape too. Do I want to add any? Let's just start laying some stickers down. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and white out these sections. I never use these. This is my home planner. So I use this side for my errands for the week and then my grocery list for the week. And then this side is chores that need to get done around the house. So I think we're going to start off with this big flower in the corner. I'm going to go in and tear out this page so I can put this book to the side and make life a little easier. I want to make sure that I make it all the way to the other side of the page, so I don't know. I hope this would fill up and I don't, and I'm not cut short with it. It's the only thing that I'm worried about. But we'll see. These stickers are so pretty. Okay, now we're getting towards the middle, so I'm going to put my pages together. I think I'll have more than enough space, so before I keep going, I want to see if I can bring these closer together because we still have a lot of stickers left to place down. It's one reason why I kind of wanted to use wax paper, but we'll make it work. Oh, this one's tearing my page a little bit, but we'll be covering most of it up with these stickers, so as long as it doesn't tear through my whole page, we'll be fine. Oh. I'll probably end up fast forwarding through this so you don't have to watch me painfully pull up all these stickers that are ripping my page. So I'm going to put these down real quick and rearrange them and I'll come back to finish this side with y'all. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't make y'all have to go through that with me. I don't know if you can tell on here, but a lot of these stickers were awful trying to get up and I tore up my page pretty well, but I'm going to try to cover it up as best as I can with the rest of these flowers. Okay. Now we'll go for this. Do you want to go blue and then teal and then purple and pink? Or just teal, purple, and pink. I don't know if I have enough space. Let's just try it. Go 
go in with this big one right here. Okay, we got three more and I think I spaced them out good this time. And I am covering up Monday, so I'm gonna have to put a box there to give me some functional space. So now I'm gonna grab my scissors. We're gonna trim this apart, cut out the holes, and then we'll work on our functional boxes. Okay, so we have it all punched and everything. I think this is super cute already. We did finish the sheet. So now let's grab some boxes. Um, I am going to white out the rest of these words that are already covered up. So I'm gonna grab my Uniball Signo and just cover up these sections. Okay. So I know I want to put a quote right here and maybe one down here, but here I need to decide whether I just want to put some headers and use the lists as they are or if I want to make my own lists. I think I'll make my own lists. So put that black box there. And then we'll get a double wide. Wide out this, get it done. I think I want a header. Do I want a header? If I do that, maybe I do like a red and then an orange. Let's see. So I have Mojo Jojo Plans red boxes. Let's see if these reds would look good. I think it'll work. This brighter color. Red. And then let's go in orange and see if we can find one that will work. If not, we'll just do like yellow or something. Oh, I like this orange. It really matches that one. Okay, so we'll use this one. Okay. So we have the functionality I need on this side. The only thing I think we could use is a quote. On Amber plants her day. I like this big one right here. She believes she could, so she did. I feel like it will take up some of the space down here pretty well. Kind of disguise all the mess ups that I had over there. Let's find a quote for this top section. I don't want something too overly big. Let's just do this embrace every challenge. Now 
boxes. I'd really hate to cover up that section up there, but I need to write on that day. How awful is it that I'm covering it up? We're just going to do it that way. I want to get a smaller size for this box. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and crisscross it down. And then I'll put bullet points on the other days. So she has bullet points in the back here. And grab my tweezers. Sorry, I kind of feel like I want to do what I did over here and mix the colors. But if I do that, how would I want to do that? Would I just want to keep going yellow, green, and blue, or like purple since purple's right here, and then pink, and then like this tealy color? Or should I just leave it black? I'm just going to leave it black. Keep it simple. I want to see what it looks like as a whole without these. If I can take them off without ripping. Okay, yeah, I like it better without it. So we're going to leave it like this and call this spread done. It was fun, cute, and simple using a whole sheet of Amber Planter Day stickers. I like how it turned out. Let me know what you think about this spread down in the comments. Please like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.